I'm Kalpana. Since I'm a cancer survivor, every year I undergo a yearly health checkup. So when I went for my health checkup this year, it was found that I had an umbilical hernia with a with something called a bowel loop. The doctor whom I went to, the GP whom I saw, he said uh, nothing may happen or something could happen all of a sudden. It could lead to complications. So as an elective, he said I could undergo a surgery. Since I'm a diabetic, I was advised to uh, undergo laparoscopic because it's minimal invasive and it heals faster. So luckily for me, I have a family of doctors. Since I didn't know whom to go to, I just asked for their advice and they put me on to Dr. Ganesh Shanoi who uh, operates at Kaveri Hospital here in Marathalli. Hi, I am uh, Dr. Ganesh Shanoi, uh, Director of Department of Surgical Gastroenterology, Minimal SS and Bariatric Surgery at Kaveri Hospitals, Marathalli. Mrs. Kalpana is a cancer survivor with history of undergoing open surgeries in the past. She had come to my clinic with history of swelling near the umbilicus, which was diagnosed as umbilical hernia. Uh, Kalpana is a very intelligent woman because she knew that there is no medical line of management for hernia. She knew that hernia has to be treated by surgery. And since she has got a lot of doctors in her family and few are very renowned surgeons in the country, uh, these surgeons approached me and uh, through them Kalpana also approached me and I offered a laparoscopic surgery for her which was done at Kaveri Hospitals. Uh, this surgery was done by my own novel innovative technique of ventral hernia repair uh, by using only three uh, small cuts over her abdomen. Her post-operative recovery was uneventful. She had less pain in the post-operative course so she could be ambulant within six hours following surgery because these are made by using only three small cuts. Uh, Post-operatively, she didn't have much restrictions uh, except for lifting heavy weights or no bending or any strenuous activity. Unlike in the open surgery where we tell patients to get admitted for 2-3 days in the hospital, then lot of restrictions uh, from uh, the work. Uh, by laparoscopic approach, they can get back to the work as early as possible and uh, showing a faster recovery period. So I like the way he, he actually uh, told me in, in short what my condition is and what they will do and what the post-op will be like and uh, within a couple of days of me meeting him I was in Kaveri and uh, though I live very far away from Marathalli I was happy I, I chose this place because it's a it's a very good hospital very good care and uh, you could say I felt comfortable the moment we walked in so I had my surgery yesterday and uh, it it went off so smoothly now I I have been asked to rest for one day and the, the nurses have come and taken very good care of me now I uh, the post-op they have given a whole lot a list of what I should do post-op the care I have to take at home See, any surgery is, uh, as you all know, that it is a teamwork. It is a team of surgeons, team of anesthetists, team of uh, critical care. So, at Kaveri Hospital has all this under one roof and uh, uh, the post-operatively, the patient has to be on a diet for a week. She is, they should not undergo any strenuous activities or uh, which increases any intra-abdominal pressure for a month. So we'll be giving them a binder to wear so that the pain is less and it supports the abdominal wall. Other than that, since it is done by laparoscopic approach, there is no extra precautions to be taken unlike the counter, uh, unlike the open counterpart, where after open surgery, you need to get admitted for one week in the hospital and then a lot of restrictions after uh, your surgery. Uh, unlike uh, open surgery, laparoscopic surgery has got a very smooth recovery, uh, earlier return to work, less infection, less bleeding and you all know that less is more cosmetic. But I am very happy that I did this now. One thing, since I am a cancer survivor, I am telling you, one thing we should all understand is not wait for something very bad to happen. We have to take care before it happens. That's why we have to, you know, we can, we, we, we can understand our bodies, what is happening, why, why is this happening, if there is something 
persistent you have to go and show the doctor that i i got to know from my cancer and uh, lucky for me it was just a stage 3 cancer and i survived it was a non lymphoma i mean non hodgkins lymphoma so i survived so it could have gone elsewhere you know it could have spread if i wouldn't have taken care similarly with this umbilical hernia if i wouldn't have taken care it would have gone to a crisis situation where i would have had to be rushed in an emergency and i didn't want that to happen i'm happy i came to kaveri but dr mariana came along with dr ganhi they visited me many times before my yeah i like that also yeah and the nurses were really good nursing care was good Thank you.